Joseph weeps on eight occasions. The final time is possibly the most interesting and subtle. Genesis 50 says this, And when Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hate us, and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brethren and their sin, for they did unto thee evil. And now we pray thee, forgive the trespass of the servants of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him. The brothers agree to manufacture a lie, telling Joseph that Jacob's dying words were that he wanted Joseph to forgive his brothers of their sin of selling him into slavery many years previously. They had evidently been believing that Joseph's good will toward them was solely for his father's happiness, and as soon as his father had died, he would take revenge on them. The very first thing that Joseph did was not to become angry or even to hotly defend himself. He wept, even as they were speaking. He had been painfully misunderstood. His initial joy at seeing his family again and having them by his side, the years of ensuring their welfare in the foreign land, had all been interpreted as being done only for the love of their father, Jacob. He was really biding his time to wreak his revenge on them. Within the complexities of our nature, God has placed a powerful need for love and acceptance, the hunger to belong. Respect doesn't satisfy this. We can respect somebody, but still feel very uncomfortable with them. Love is restful. We belong. These final tears of Joseph were prompted by the realization that he wasn't ever accepted as one of the family. He was the viceroy of Egypt. They wore their best clothes when he came to visit. The special tableware was used, and the children behaved more than ever. He was respected not loved. Joseph wasn't and never could be one of the family, not truly and naturally. This was the price for the fulfillment of his dreams. Jesus in Gethsemane and the disciples sleeping. He was, after all, God. Why would he need them?